All righty, guys. So a new program with SLU Care is giving support to new moms struggling with mental health issues after childbirth. In this morning's STL Moms Report, Fox 2's Molly Rose is learning more about the psychiatric program. Good morning to you, Molly. Good morning, Blair. They are doing really important things. The new clinic, it's called the SLU Care Women's Reproductive Mental Health Clinic, and it's guided by Dr. Roshanya Hirova, and she is joining us live on Skype this morning to tell us more about the clinic's mission to help women. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for being with us. All right, we want to we want to see if we can hear you, doctor. Talk to us about how important it was to have a space like this one. I think there is a great need for a program like that. We know that uh, postpartum depression is a very common type of depression that affects about 15 to 20 percent of the women uh, following the childbirth. And uh, what we also know, unfortunately, that less than 50% of the women who have depression get diagnosed and treated. So opening a program like that, a uh, Women's Reproductive Mental Health Program, where our goal is to provide comprehensive evaluation and treatment of either moms who are pregnant or new moms who are struggling with mental health issues is paramount. I think what a lot of people will find interesting is there is a really wide range of symptoms for postpartum depression. It's not just feeling sad. Can you go through some of the symptoms so people know what to look for? Yes, thank you. That's a good question. So first, I think we need to talk a little bit about what's considered to be normal, and it's called baby blues. And during the transition to the motherhood, some of the moms might feel overwhelmed. They might feel uh, that they go through emotional roller coaster. They might feel overwhelmed with their responsibilities. And it's absolutely normal. And it usually goes away. Those feelings do go away after the first week or two. And then the moms continue the journey to motherhood with a newfound confidence. However, postpartum depression is completely different. When we diagnose it, we usually look for the cluster of symptoms. The first one is persistent changes in mood. When new moms find themselves that they're persistently sad, they're irritable, they lose interest in doing things. The second cluster of symptoms is very high anxiety. So those women would often wake up at night checking on their baby, and checking the baby, whether the baby is breathing, whether the baby is positioned well, and those thoughts will be keeping moms awake at night. And the last cluster of symptoms is the lack of attachment to the baby. So a lot of times I hear moms coming and telling them they feel numb. They feel that they can't connect with the baby. They don't feel any enjoyment. And this can be very detrimental to the mother's mental health. Because as women, we're conditioned to believe that motherhood is supposed to be the most joyful time in our life. But when some moms don't feel that way, they start blaming themselves. They start feeling guilty. And this is why we don't ask for help. And that can be very, very dangerous. Doctor, I'm so glad I'm so glad there is another resource out there, another clinic for women who need it. We have contact information out there for anyone who does need to seek any help. You can call the number on your screen. You can also go to slucare.edu.